Reaper is an excellent, fully-featured digital audio workstation that's popular for home music recording. It features multi-track audio recording, non-linear and non-destructive editing, effects with VST plugin support, mixing tools, MIDI recording, and virtual instruments to create music. In this video, we'll cover how to get Reaper installed on your system and set up your audio hardware. Before starting, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you'll see all our new content on home recording. Let's start by going to the Reaper website. From here, find the download page at the top. Select the version of Reaper that corresponds to your operating system. Download and run the installer and follow the prompts on screen to get the program running. When you launch Reaper for the first time, you'll get the license agreement page with a prompt for software activation. There are a few different license versions available for Reaper. If you choose to purchase Reaper, you can bypass this evaluation message when the program starts and support further development of Reaper. Otherwise, you're forced to sit through this evaluation page when it starts up with a few second delay notifying you of how much time you've used the program before starting. For licenses, Reaper offers a discounted license for individual use or businesses using Reaper commercially with a yearly gross revenue of less than $20,000 per year, or for educational or nonprofit use. The cost of the discounted license is $60, and it's $225 for the commercial license. After that, you'll receive a license key for activation. When you start up Reaper, you'll need to get it working with your audio interface. Go to the Options menu, select Preferences, and go to the Device section. If you're on Windows, select the audio system as ASIO for low latency audio processing with your audio interface, then select the audio interface below. I'm using a Focusrite Scarlett 18i20, which is an 8 input, 8 output audio interface with 8 preamps, line outputs, phantom power, instrument inputs, MIDI in and out, headphone and monitor outputs, and optical connections for expandability. To check out this audio interface and get one for yourself, you can check out our links for the third generation of this audio interface in the video description down below. Lastly, we need to make sure the first and last input and output selects the range for all the ins and outs for our audio interface that we want to use, otherwise they won't show up with our tracks. With that done, we can go down to our tracks, create audio tracks, select our inputs, and start working with music production. Thanks for checking out this video on installing Reaper. If this video helped you out, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and press the bell icon to get notified whenever a new video is released. You can also check the video description down below for links to social media accounts to stay up to date on all our new content.